I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be exploring cool colors. So cool colors are green, blue, and purple and these colors make us feel calm, they make us feel cold or cool and peaceful. And we often associate them with the ocean or winter time. So we're going to use this cool color scheme in this artwork that also plays a little bit with the principle of design proportion. We're going to use it to kind of distort and make things out of proportion in this fish. And we're also going to use line design and color to create this kind of mosaic body. So we're going to try playing with some different artists tools, right? Things that artists use to create art, art to create this lovely, cool color fish design. So grab something to draw with and things to color with and let's make some cool colored fish. <laughs> So we're going to be drawing a fish that only uses cool colors in the color scheme that we color it with. And our cool colors are green, where's my green, purple, and blue. And they make us feel calm, cool, and peaceful. So we're going to use those. They're beautiful winter colors. And it's just going to be a lovely oceany color as well, right? So you think about water. You always often think of these colors as well. So we're gonna use our cool color scheme on this lovely fish. So here we go. So we're gonna begin off with, well, a curving line up, over, and down. Now you'll notice this side comes down a little bit farther than this side. Now I'm gonna change up the face. Usually I tuck in the upper lip, but the, or the, yeah, I tuck in the upper lip, but this time I'm gonna bring the upper lip up and over on the outside and make this guy a little bit sillier. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna play with proportion and I'm gonna make this upper lip unexpectedly large. I'm gonna start up a little bit past and then bring it down around and up because of course we have some gills. All right, we're gonna tuck it on, bring it down, round and up. I have left a little space so I can add some fish teeth. <laughs> now in the corner of the mouth, we're gonna draw a little U shape. Okay, so now let's distort this a little bigger. So I made this out of proportion by making that lower jaw much bigger than expected. Now we're going to, before we finish that mouth, we're gonna add some fins that are much smaller than expected. So I'm gonna draw a nice small dorsal fin. And I'm also gonna draw a little teeny fin on its body. So I'm gonna start off with a little upside down U shape here. And then I'm gonna go out around and up. And I'll make this kind of a fancy little side body fin here. Now, I'm gonna just draw two lines out where the tail is gonna go. And again, I'm distorting proportion, so I'm gonna make these unexpectedly small for a tail for a body this size. So two curving lines out, and then I'm gonna connect them with a the curve. So one big curving line to connect them both at the end. All right, in the fins, we're just gonna draw lines to create fin texture. Okay, so back to the teeth. Give your fish some teeth. Now mine are gonna be odd and weird and unusual. I'm gonna have them all going in different directions, but you can give your fish whatever kind of teeth you want sticking up from the bottom. Next, give your fish an eye. Nice big circle. In that circle, we're gonna draw one big circle. And then on the bottom, we're gonna draw a curving rectangle for the bottom. Then we're gonna 
connect the top and bottom there with a little tiny curvy line and then color it in to create that pupil on a fish. There we go. Now, here's the deal. We gotta make the belly. So I gotta go from somewhere over here and add a little dot and I gotta bring it around and connect it to that dot over there. Nice big one clean line. It's quite a lot. So what I like to do is I like to place my hand over here and then, but my eyes are at the end point. I'm looking this way. So that way I'm gonna train my hand to go to where I want it to go. So I'm starting here, but I'm looking at my end goal. Whoa, left my felt there on there too long. Okay, ready, here we go. Whoosh. Going around that bottom pin. I'm readjusting my hand and I'm looking at the end goal. I'm gonna start back here a little bit again. And up I go. There we go. Right up to the end. So now I got a nice big body, big bottom jaw, and really small fins. So I've used proportion, which is a principle of design, and when things are in good proportion, it feels like everything is right. But we can use that in our advantage in a different way. When we make things purposely out of proportion, we forcibly make it look strange and unusual. And now this fish looks strange and unusual because I've distorted on purpose. We've changed things on this fish. All right, moving on. Let's give this a bit of a background. So we're gonna draw one wavy line up that goes in behind here. We're gonna create some overlapping and that's gonna create a sense of depth in this artwork. We'll draw a little stem, wavy stem here. And we'll just add some wavy lines on either side to turn it into kelp. Whoop. Just like that, we got some kelp. Easy. All right. We'll add a little ocean floor here. Maybe a few bubbles. But we can't just leave them as circles. We gotta add some shiny spots. So we'll add some curving rectangles in them. Then we got bubbles. And now we gotta finish off the fish. So we got this jawline coming up. So we're just gonna draw a few little lines here coming off that to create our gills. The sense that there are gills. And now we're gonna mosaic it off. So we're just gonna start connecting lines here and there and breaking them off into different areas to start turning this into a more of a mosaic pattern. We're really using all different types of elements of art and principles of design in this fish. We're using cool color scheme, we got proportion going on, we got a sense of overlapping to create space and depth. And now we're gonna add some, use line and color to create and pattern to make our design even further. Now you can leave it at some big or you can go throughout the whole face. I'm gonna leave this part nice and smooth. That way I can have it as more of a focal point. I think I'm gonna leave that my mosaic at that because it looks and feels good. Okay, grab your cool colors. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my background. I'm just gonna quickly add some color to it. And now we can go ahead and color our fish using what, your own choice of art making me mediums and 
cool colors. Once you're done coloring in your fish, your lovely artwork is 
Done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons. So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am artastic.kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent. Don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library, so you'll get hundreds of art lessons, and then every single month, five new ones are added and it, there are lots of sneak peek preview videos so make sure you go to artastickids.com hit the get started button and i will see you in the membership enjoying new art lessons added every single month